What's going on everybody? Welcome to Game Freak. Today we are going to do a little bit of unboxing. And what we're going to unbox is right here. This is the Arcade 1UP Countercade. It is the Marvel Capcom edition. It has two joysticks, you know, 12 buttons. Well, actually uh, 14 buttons because, you know, yeah, one and two player. So... Yeah, um, I haven't opened this up. I received this for Christmas from my wife, and I just have no room in here. So what I did, just so I could do this unboxing, because it's not going to stay on this thing, but I brought uh, just a little portable desk in here, just so I can set it up and do this unboxing video. And we're going to see uh, what it looks like inside. It looks like I'm going to have to take off you know, the top around the buttons, that plastic or uh, plexiglass there to get some of the plastic off. But, you know, I'll edit that out. But, um, yeah, this this has four games on it. Um, it has Marvel Super Heroes, The Punisher, uh, X-Men versus Street Fighter, and Marvel versus Capcom. Um, now I'm going to be completely honest with you. I've never played any of these games. Um, this this one kind of shocked me when she bought me this. Uh, the only reason she got it is, and I didn't think she was going to buy it, like, I don't know, a month and a half before Christmas, we were in Target, and I saw a Countercade uh, Ms. Pac-Man, which I have behind this thing, uh, set up in this room and this was set up next to it and I was like man both of them look really cool and she goes well, I didn't know that you played fighting games I was like I, I really don't anymore you know I played so much Mortal Kombat when I was younger I just don't play fighting games anymore but this one looked really cool and she also knows like she, I think she was a little bit shocked when I said that because I'm not like a like a comic book like superhero fan um I do dig some Batman and stuff, but not comics. But I do watch, um, excuse me, the Batman movies and stuff like that. But like when it comes to like Avengers and stuff like that, no nah, man, not my not my cup of tea, man. I've just never really been into it. Even as a kid, I wasn't into it. So I, I think she was kind of shocked when I said, "Yeah, yeah, that that looks pretty cool." Well, you know, for my birthday, I I opened up my uh gift that she got me and it was the the Ms. Pac-Man countercade. Well, apparently she had this hid away, I think at her parents' house or something. Just so I wouldn't find it, not that I like snoop around or anything, but just so I wouldn't happen to run into it. But um yeah, I w I was shocked. Apparently like the next day, you know, she had to go to like a baby shower for one of her friends and pick stuff up. Well, she went and picked this up. And uh that it, it it shocked the hell out of me. So, this is still sealed. Um, we are going to open it up and uh, see what's all inside. Um, this should be pretty cool. Uh, just a, a quick warning. Um, I am going to do some gameplay and stuff on this. It's been a long time since I've played like fighting games. Like even on like my EXP and VS and stuff, I don't play Street Fighter. I don't like do any of the Street Fighter games or anything like that. So I don't know the moves. I don't know the buttons. I don't know any of that stuff. I don't even remember like the button combos on like Mortal Kombat, even though I used to play it constantly. I mean, it's been that long. I haven't played fighting games forever, but this did look badass. So without further ado, let's, uh, Open this bad boy. See what kind of mess we have in here. Okay, so now I think I'm situated. Hopefully the mic's picking me up okay. If not, I apologize. Um, we're going to cut this tape up. To go over to the other side here. Alright. 
Okay. So, let's see what we got here. Obviously, you're not going to be able to see what I'm seeing. All right. So, first thing we got right on the top is we have the instruction manual. Shouldn't need that one. I did need it for the Miss Pac-Man. I wasn't real sure because it was my first arcade one-up that I ever owned. And um, I wasn't real sure how to get back to the menu while in-game. So, I did have to use for that. Use the instruction guide for that. Alright. So, you know, cool that Arcade 1-Up isn't doing, and I'm sure they'll end up starting at some point. But this has the brick on it and everything for the power supply. I know a lot of companies like Atari and Blaze and everything, you'll get your USB-C, but they won't give you a brick. This is, this is all wired in, so this is good. Just like the the other one I have. So I, I appreciate that from Arcade 1-Up. I don't know much about Arcade 1-Up. Because like I said, this is, this is only the second machine that I have from them. So, so far, you know, that like that Miss Pac-Man and stuff. I'm really digging that. So. Alright. Alright, so we got that styrofoam out of the way. And now I got styrofoam all over the arcade. Son of a bitch. Yeah, we'll we'll clean that off. We'll we'll get it clean. Alright. Alright, I'm gonna pull this out of the box. This might uh take a second because it's really like cramped down in there. So let me get this thing out of the box real quick. Okay, so we had to take, or I had to take some uh, some plastic off. They had it on the top, on the screen here, and on the marquee. I'm not, I don't think this marquee lights up. It doesn't feel like it. It feels like it's just uh, on wood. We'll find out when I plug it in. I'm almost positive it doesn't light up, though. But, um, yeah, there was plastic on here. There was plastic on the screen. And in order to get the plastic off good, you want to unscrew these four screws and kind of lift this up otherwise you get plastic just stuck under here and it looks like shit and the same thing there's two screws right here that they're only i mean they're they're small um i took them out took the plastic off screwed it back in so we're good to go the only thing that's left now is uh plugging this in and uh doing some gameplay but before we do that, let me show you the artwork. I, I wish I could tell you the characters that are on the, the, the sides, but I can't because, you know, I, I'm i not a comic book fan, so I'm I'm sure you guys will know. Luckily, I see around the, um, the joystick, it kind of gives instructions where, like, back defend and forward, forward flip, like it, it says what to do and then there's kick buttons and then the punch buttons are on the top so that's cool i should be able to figure that out i mean again it's been a long time since i did fighting games i'm more of a platform kind of person but uh yeah so this is this is what it looks like really nice um i'm not real sure who that is whoever has them stones like in his fist. But that's what the side looks like. Pretty sure the other side looks the exact same. Yeah. It's the same. But yeah, it, I mean it looks good. It looks really good. So I'm uh I'm pretty curious to see, you know, how bad I get my ass kicked playing this. So you know, you can laugh at me, shit. I'm gonna laugh at myself. Seeing how bad I'm gonna get beat. So we're gonna we're gonna plug this thing in and do a little bit of gameplay. Let's check this out. Alright, so I'm off the mic, so this audio quality might be bad for for me talking. Um 
but we're going to turn this thing on. Um, I just wanted to say on the left-hand side over here, there is a headphone jack that I just noticed. And then on the right-hand side, there's a USB port, which means, uh, you know, you can use... Uh, additional controllers if you want if if it is a USB um, in so or out I'm sorry so that that's pretty cool um, I'm not real sure how that's gonna work but let's turn this thing on I know that these usually take a few seconds to boot up and I was wrong the marquee does light up that's pretty slick I like that a lot Heck yeah, man. See, I know some of them. I know that's Iron Man, Captain America, Spider-Man, Wolverine, the Hulk. I'm not sure who that is. And that's loud as fuck. Here, we're going to turn that down some. All right. Let's see what we got here. 2021. All right. So, game selection. We can do Marvel versus Capcom, Marvel Superheroes, The Punisher, X-Men versus Street Fighter. You know, again, I'm not real familiar with any of this shit. So, I'm just going to start on Marvel versus Capcom, get my ass kicked, and... um. Yeah, why not, man? Let's check this out. Destiny Ooh, Destiny Awakes. All right, so, you know, this gives you a, a rundown of the controls and everything. But, yeah, this ain't going to help me out any. I'm just going to go in, uh, I'm just going to go in swinging. See what happens. All right, so it's loading up. Here, I'll turn this up a little. I mean, it, it does have a beautiful picture to it. It doesn't sound too bad. It probably sounds a lot better with headphones on. I mean, it, this looks cool as hell. But I can tell just looking at it that I'm going to get my ass kicked. Like, bad. Oh, yeah, I'm going to get the shit beat out of me. Wow, that looks good, though. All right, so who do I want to be? I don't know who that is. Could be fucking Mega Man. Oh, I guess that is Capcom character. Let's do easy because I'm going to get the shit beat out of me anyway. Now let's do normal. Yeah, regardless, I'm going to get beat. All right, here we go. Oh. Oh, yeah. Oh, I got lucky there. This is Marvel Super Heroes. And once again, it's telling me that destiny awaits. So, let's check this out. I mean, Wolverine's pretty badass. I'm going to give him a bad name, though. So... Let's do normal. 
All right, this one don't give me an easy mode, so I definitely will lose this. But hey, I warned you. I warned you beforehand. Shit. Oh, come on. How did I do that? All right. So I beat Spidey. So that's cool. All right. The Punisher. Let's check this one out. All right. That sounded like a, some drunk guy. Holy shit. Okay, I don't understand this one at all. All right, this one's more of a, this one's more of a beat-em-up, like an arcade beat-em-up. I can dig that. That's cool. I think I'm going to have fun with this. I mean, I'm going to have to figure stuff out a little better, but... So I'm taking it, this X-Men versus Street Fighter. This is going to be another fighter. So we'll see what what goes on here. Yeah, man, the picture, the sound, everything on here is beautiful. Man, this might get me back into the fight game. Who the heck is that? Yeah, let's be this big bastard. Alright. Alright. Check this out. Man, he takes up like the whole screen. Oh, shit. Yeah, she don't fuck around. Pretty cool shit right here, man. I'm digging this. I think I'm going to be playing a lot of this right here at the Punisher. Because that, it kind of reminds you of like a final fight in a way. So that that's definitely going to get the most play. But, you know, this might get me into some some fighting games again. So this was pretty cool, man. I, I'm digging this a lot. Wow. I have to say, I'm impressed. That thing is awesome. Uh, I, I do think that this might get me back into the fighting games again because... I've said in previous videos, you know, I, I got what I call Mortal Kombat it out uh, because I, I just used to play the hell out of that game. And I haven't played it forever. I mean, uh, a long time. In fact, uh, I haven't played that. I've, I've never, besides uh, to sh test on like the Super Pockets, like uh, Street Fighter and stuff like that, I don't play them anymore. Man, I might get back into them because these were a lot of fun. And um, you know, I'm not I'm not into like Marvel characters or anything like that. I mean, there's some cool looking characters like Wolverine and the Hawk and everyone, but I'm just not not into the whole comic book scene. But man, it it looks awesome, it plays awesome. I got a lot of work to do. Uh 
learning the moves and everything. But, you know, I'll get that down. It just takes some time. But, man, overall, great, great cabinet. If uh, if you don't have one, I would recommend this. It, it's cool. They're not – all four games aren't just uh, fighting games. The one the Punisher is pretty much like a beat-em-up. It's just like uh, Final Fight in a way. That's what it reminds me of, like the whole layout and everything. just reminds me a lot of Final Fight, and Final Fight's an awesome game, so – this is going to be cool, man. Um, lots of practice coming up because, man, I, you know, on the on the one, I, I put it on easy, but that was the only one that had the option where I could put it on easy, and I barely won. But uh, the other ones, man, they're, they're tough. But uh, I'll get there. It just takes some time. So, hey, man, uh, if you were uh, maybe on the fence uh, picking one of these countercades up, this is a really good one. Um this is a little bit bigger than like the Ms. Pac-Man one. And in fact, it's a lot bigger because it has, it can do two players. But the really cool thing is, uh, you can, you can add a controller if you want, if you don't want to use joysticks. And I don't know if you can do that just a single player or if that's like for a second player. I, I'm not real sure on that. Or maybe, maybe it's three. I, I'm not real sure. I mean, I, I'd have to look in the um, in the instruction manual and stuff, but I'm I'm positive that that uh, that USB port is on there for a controller. So that being said, I want to thank you guys for uh, joining me and checking this thing out with me. It was a really fun to unbox this and uh, brought back some memories of the old fight games, man. So I might be back in it. So I appreciate you guys tuning in. Uh, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. It really helps out the channel a lot, and I greatly appreciate it. And until the next video, game on, everybody.